Vilar, Switzerland. So we just arrived in Vilar and came into this exhibition that's going on. And the very first thing we see is the book that we were looking for yesterday to go up to Mount Pilatus in Lucerne. We stopped at two gas stations and a bookstore and we couldn't find it. And here it is. Had them? Yeah. Great St. Bernard's. Very nice, Chloe. Please, mm -hmm. nice. You want to go give them a little cuddle? Cuddle. This lady is doing tours of Morocco and so um, part of her exposition is the kids are learning all about um, not a camel but the one with only one uh, I forget the name. In French, there's two words for camels. One has one bump, like, and the other has two. But so it's all um, quizzes about like are these index? index uh, I'm speaking half French, half English. Are these insects either from Switzerland or the Sahara? And they're having to learn the differences between different animals, the mountain goats, and different legends and stories about them. So it's really cool. Um, what are some of the highlights that somebody would expect if they go on a trip with you? Uh, it's possible to, to go all the, the southwest of Morocco. Okay. And uh, I'm a mountain leader. You're a mountain leader? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And how long are your trips? Are they like one week or...? It's one week. It's possible to organize uh, on custom, custom, custom tour. Custom tours? Custom tour for one week, two weeks, like you would. And uh, it's possible to make some days of work, some days of uh, travel with uh, location, to, um, car, location car, uh -huh. and uh, with a guide and, uh, and with chauffeur, driver. And uh, it's possible to, to make a mixed travel. Uh -huh. To do both, a little bit of both? Yeah, it's possible to make, uh, for example, one week of uh, trekking uh -huh. and one week uh, on the coast. Zafrani's name is the name of my camel. That's your camel's name? <laughs> yeah. And um, the children uh, like very much uh, to play to the desert with the camel. They have fun and, uh, with the camel. I, I would advise? I will advise for the, the family. To, for, for families the first to come, time, yeah. to go uh, in the little um, the chain of mountain of uh, Jebel Sirwa, uh -huh. because it's a very um, beautiful country, and uh, yeah, there is uh, inhabitants, and uh, make the culture of uh, Zafran, and uh, it's possible to make a trek with a very varied landscapes. Okay, and or the Sahara. Sarah is like a big uh, playground <laughs> for the child. One more thing to add in here, this is be this would be a really good homeschooling experience for any groups. Um, she can do, you know, up to 30 people at a time, so it'd be a really good homeschooling retreat, whether it's just your family and yourself, because um, they do all the custom tours and you can go through the desert, you usually walk three hours, and then there's a chef who goes and prepares a nice meal, then they have a little bit of a siesta time, um, and then you walk another hour or two, and then they set up camp for the night, and so you go through and you learn the history and, and the geography and well, everything there is to know about their culture, dancing, everything like that. So it's really an experience that would be uh, awesome. We've never done it, but that'll have to be on our bucket list to do. So. Everybody did this. That Even adults had bags like, like swing hey, So just, what just, did we find or what did you guys this, get or how did it work? Okay, so we did a treasure. A little hunt and we had to write down things. No, but this is not part of so the treasure I, hunt. I think this is this just is what not you get. Also, Part of it. This, this is what you just I get. got. If you this is not all from the. I got a mug, mm -hmm. a little keychain. Oh, look, it's a St. Bernard dog. Two of them. That's cute. Are you going to Salome? 
Probably. You got sunglasses? sunglasses? Then the shoes. I got two pens. Mm -hmm. And then I think the rest. I got an activity book. Mm -hmm. Then I think the rest is all pictures. I got a. A magazine Loisir. That's the book we were looking for yesterday. And basically the rest is all with shows. Cool. So this was at an event for... What was the event for exactly? Villa, maybe. I don't know. Just... It was an event in Villa and it was in the sports stadium over there. And they had expositions. What was really cool, I think, was the lady who was telling us all about her Moroccan tours. That was really neat, eh? Yeah. So I just got the lowdown of what this event is all about. It's basically a three-day event that happens every year and it's to, I guess you'd say, celebrate all the different walking tours and stuff. And so you pay about 10 francs and then they take the kids and they do all these different hikes and stuff through the mountains. Um, and then you get like those bags that the girls had, the sunglasses and all the promotional materials. So something that'll happen again next uh, June. and. Uh, it's a cool event so that was kind of a surprise coming up here so this little mountain village what's unique about it it's first of all it's small quaint typical uh, Swiss village you see all these cute little Swiss chalets and beautiful buildings they have two international schools here one called Aiglon and one called Beau Soleil and so really reputed boarding schools in the area they're in a, it's a ski village of course, so lots of skiing. So when you go to those schools, it's all about nature outdoors. Typically they have about, I think, three hours of skiing per day or something like that. So instead of the recess, um, their afternoons involve lots of outdoor activities, skiing, hiking, uh, really cool stuff. I have two friends who went there and some of their stories are pretty wild about how they used to have to go hiking and pack all their food for their trips and uh, carry it all on their back and they'd be just going for the whole weekend through the Swiss Alps so it's pretty crazy. Look at some of these little chalets or well these ones are huge chalets I shouldn't call them little chalets but they all have really just beautiful style and architect to them and the balconies are really cool. It's a really really pretty little village and in the winter months there's also you can take a train and go up a little bit here and then you could go down the whole way by uh, sled. So that's really cool too. Yeah. This is so cool. Mommy? Look at this building. This is even Mommy? their police station and their office de population. So the population office their, of their village. In this beautiful chalet. There's a fountain. That's what we were looking for. Here's like a main parking lot as well. Mm -hmm. Kind of a cool parking lot, right? So it goes down and down and down. Oh, it's gonna be nice and cold water, is it? Is it fresh? Freezing cold? It's so young, it's good. All the hotels here and little inns are just so cute and spectacular. This is the train station there. Here's a little train. We're gonna show you where you can go from Julie, Vida. Julie, you have to hold it. Okay, so we have a map so we can show you where we are. So we're going here. This here is Vida. That's where we are in this little village. And you can take a little train all the way up here. This is called Breté. And then you can ski down there. This is close to a place called Les Diablerets, which is right here. And from there, you can, it's a huge ski area as well. You can go all the way up to the glacier, which is 3,000 meters high. 3,200 to be exact. And it's a, a glacier you can ski on, which is really beautiful. And um, where else? From there, you can say something, yeah. And the Diable is also where I did my camp. Oh, yeah. Like my summer camp. And we were walking up mountains like to the glacier area, and we would hike down. How long would it take you to hike down? Some hikes were like four to th like three to four hours long. That's really cool. Yeah. Neat, right? So it's really a musty place in the winter months. Summer's cool too because you can do a lot of hikes, but in the winter it's when it's really I happening. Did my ski camp here. 
Yeah? Did you like it? But it wasn't really here in this village. It was up above on the mountains. Yeah. So how'd you get there? By train. By train? Very nice. So we just found this poster and these pictures of all the dates. For example, 1857. Um, is this part of the chain here? So for example, in 1857, the train from Vilna to Bay was created, I think, right? Mm -hmm. It was made. Okay, so here in 1847, there was a big um, hotel um, fire at this big hotel. So the hockey club started in 1906. And here's some like images from back then. All along this little walkway, they have these little signs that are explaining different history and um, events that are happening or historical moments in their town. And one cool thing that we just saw here is that they used to have a prestigious uh, European race in Olon Villard. And coming up in 2017, they're going to have um, what they call sidecars and motorcycles dating back from the 30s all the way till now with all the different styles and stuff like that. So it's going to be like a parkour or however you call that, like a, it's a parkour in English, right? um, like a parkour anyway for like a trail or whatever to go around. So it's going to be interesting and uh, we'll show you a really exotic car that we saw coming up too that was pretty cool. So I don't know if that's to do with that, but probably. I'll show you this viewpoint coming this way bit under construction but look at that they have this thing called McCord like McDonald's but McCord so this is it this is pretty much the downtown core of Vida a couple streets I like that's gonna be a future call oh cool not really filming the other side because it's under construction what they're gonna be making here so We just found a brand that's Chloe's brand, like our Chloe. Um, but you know you're in Switzerland when you look at the shoes and those shoes there, for example, are 530 bucks on sale for 424. <laughs> this is the one school I was telling you about called Beau Soleil that is in Villard and has the most magnificent view. So this is a boarding school where kids come and do their um, grade school. So it goes up to the high school age and that's it. And um, very much an outdoor program in this beautiful village of Villach. So this is the other um, school I was telling you about, Aiglon. I'm not sure which campus is theirs, but that's the sign for it there. It's the other boarding school that is uh, pretty well, very well known here in Villach. This is the car when you're first arriving into Villach that's on display. I am not sure why. I'm guessing it has to do with this race that they're doing in 2017, but I'm not quite sure. So just for all of you, all of you who are into cool cars, here it is. <laughs>